Uh, okay girls, so we're going to get started in the stretch class this evening. So we're going to have some banded stretches, some foam rolling. Uh, we'll have some partner assisted stretches as well. So we're going to start off by placing the band up in the rig. We're going to start off with the upper body and then slowly work our way down to the lower body. We're going to go shoulders, chest, back. Uh, we'll then move to the lower back, glutes, quads, hamstrings and we'll have a wee bit of ankles in there as well. So we're going to go for either a purple or a blue band, depends how deep you want to get into the stretch. For me, I want to go a wee bit deeper, so I'm going to get the, the purple band. If you generally have tight shoulders, I'd go for a blue band, okay? So if you have mobile shoulders, go for a purple. If you're generally tight in upper body, go for a blue. Thank you. Uh, blue, yeah. Yeah, if you have tight shoulders, blue, yeah. Blue, yeah, yeah. So you want to create a space for yourself in front of the rig to walk out into. So just moving that bench off to the side. So these are all stretches that you can do to say you're early to a session. These are all stretches you can bring into uh, as part of your programming. Just come in early or even if you're, you're finished after your session, just to loosen up any tight muscles that you might have. <laughs> yeah, I'll get that for you. <laughs> Need a wee, a wee yeah, ladder for you to get up there, yeah. Right, so a simple stretch to get started, it's our banded stretch. We'll start off from the shoulders and then move to the pecs. So we're facing out, we go wrist on and like giving the thumbs up to the person in front of you. Okay, you're gonna then turn that palm round to face the body and just grasp onto the band. Okay? You're gonna walk yourself forward, you have your hand directly up over the head and you're just gonna lean forward and you'll feel the stretch moving into the backs of the shoulders. Now if you feel that arm like excessively shaking, you're putting too much weight into that stretch, just take a wee bit off and you should just feel a nice stretch to the backs of the shoulders. Okay, we're gonna hold this position for in and around 20 seconds and then we'll move from the shoulder into the pec. So just nice controlled breaths as we move through each of the stretches today. Deep breaths in, long, slow breaths in for around eight seconds, and then that nice, long, slow exhale. Now, if you're breathing correctly, slow, deep breaths, you should be able to get deeper into the stretches and more from this class. Okay, from here, I want you to just drop the arm out as wide as you can, okay, and then think about, keeping the hip square, think about driving that right shoulder as far forward. As you. If you balance in your left arm, the left shoulder forward, and you should feel the stretch much more in the pecs now. Running down the bicep and towards the pecs. Yeah. So again, hold in there for roughly 20 seconds. And these are all fairly, when you're, when you're performing uh, banded stretches, they are really deep stretches. So if you need to release off for a few seconds and then come back in when you're ready, you can do that. you have control of all these stretches. Okay, gently release that out. We're gonna switch sides. It'll be the same stretch on the opposite side. Uh, so you go hand, wrist in, thumbs up to the person in front of you, open up the palm, turn the palm to face you, and just grasp on. Okay, once you've got hold of that palm, just walk away, hand up over the head, arm as straight as possible, and just lean forward. And again, if that arm's excessively shaking, just take a bit of pressure away. And again, holding for about 20 seconds here. One, two, three, four, six. So we got odd numbers, so Alice, you might have to be my, my glamorous assistant here. Are you? Do you mind being on the camera? No. Uh, Facebook, so if you like missed it, or you wanna bring, yeah, if you want to bring some of these workouts. If I'm talking with a weird, like, sexy voice, it's just my, it's like my mic voice. Hi, welcome to Jamie's Stretch at half seven to half eight. Yeah, yeah uh, drop the arm out to the side. Again, we got the left shoulder as far forward as we can. Stretch running down the bicep and into the pec. Yeah, so if you like any of the stretches from today, you can just go on the video, just fast forward to the stretch and then look at it again and then bring it into your own uh, stretch routine.
Okay, gently release that out. So we're gonna go to a partner stretch that works the T-spine, the mid-back. So Alice, if you wanna just come in front of me here. So you're gonna face your partner. You're gonna hinge forward from the hips. So I'm gonna put my hands on the back of Alice's shoulders. Alice is gonna put my hands on the back of her, er, on mine. I'm just gonna push down, and Alice is gonna push down as well. So it's just creating that nice stretch to the backs of the shoulders. And again, if I want to make my partner work a wee bit more, I put more weight uh, down on top of my palms, pushing down on my partner's shoulders, and that takes you into that stretch. You're just trying to get the chest as close to the floor as possible. So it's like the stretch we would do on the foam roller, where we would drive the head down towards the floor, but it's just partner assist as you're getting the weight of your partner pushing down into that stretch. Okay, so partner off. Um, so if we can get maybe uh, Robin, if you come up with. Uh, are you alright? Okay, Alice, you want to go? Yeah. Yeah, okay, we'll just go. So get the foam roller out. Yeah, and this is, for, for the people at home, you could do this option. <laughs> so uh, we got a foam roller. Just extend, you go wrists on top, give the thumbs up. Yeah, and then head and chest through. Trying to get the forehead down towards the floor. Keeping the hips nice and high. So you should feel the squeeze to the backs of the shoulders. Yeah, so obviously, if you want more, just ask your partner to put more body weight uh, down on top of the backs of the shoulders. Uh, don't, don't be nasty with it now, Katie. You <laughs> breaking her arms off there. Who was that? Is that you, Alice? Was it? Uh. <laughs> like boxing each other again. Just like get the gloves out and make you go. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, last couple of seconds there, 20 seconds. So again, if you want more, it's your last opportunity. Ask your partner to push down a wee bit harder. <laughs> he's, he's having no shoulders left after it. You might as well just go home, you're fucking wrecked. Right, girls, yeah, that'll do us there. Before we injure ourselves, we'll, uh, we'll go to our next stretch. So we've got our uh, foam roller for this one. So it's a T-spine windmill. So work in the same area, just in between the shoulder blades. So the T-spine is generally tight if you're like sitting at a, at a desk or you're on the phone all day. Yeah, that, is that, yeah, I don't know. I don't sit at a desk. Is that not the way you do? Yeah, I don't know. Is that, I, I don't use, I don't sit at Yeah, yeah. Uh, right, so we're gonna go side lion position. Uh, so we, we'll lie down on the right side first. Just the outside of the left knee on top of the foam roller. You're gonna bring the palms together. From here, it's like you're pulling back a bow and arrow. This top hand, this palm, goes to the inside of the bicep, and then from there you release round. You're trying to get the back of the hand touching the floor, and then you reset that starting position. So that pull back of the bow and arrow, okay, allows that shoulder blade, the top shoulder blade, to slide, and then it's gonna make it harder for you to get the top hand to the floor. So reset, palms uh, on top of one another, slowly slide to the bicep and reach round. So I'm gonna start around 60 seconds from now. Uh, and our goal is to get the back of the hand. Do you hold it or do you come back? So slide, oh, slide. yeah, reach. Back of the hand goes towards the floor. Feel the squeeze for two to three seconds and then slowly release back around to the top position. So slide, release. So really you should struggle to reach the, the back of the hand to the floor. You should definitely feel the squeeze. So try and, in that first initial movement, keep that top shoulder high, okay, slide, and then we start to rotate round. So the, the, the left shoulder is as tall as possible until the palm gets to the bicep, and then we release round. So don't rotate too early or you'll lose that stretch. Okay, we're gonna work on this side for a further 10 seconds, and then we'll switch. Yeah, great job, see him on the opposite side. Okay, so I'll, I'll talk you through the setup again. So we're lying down on the left side of the body this time. So you're gonna bring that uh, right knee to a right angle, inside of the right knee in contact with the foam roller. Palms set on top of one another. 
All right, chest is nice and tall. You're sliding that top hand to the inside of the bicep. All right, feel the shoulder blade, that uh, right shoulder blade slide back, and then we reach around. Okay, I really struggled to get the back of my hand to the floor. So slide, control round, gently touch. So again, if you like this movement and you forgot it when you go home, just uh, check the Facebook page, you can see the video. And if you have any tension through the backs of your shoulders, uh, or you feel you need posture correction, this is a great exercise for that. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go a further 40 seconds here. Uh, that's that's exactly right, Karen. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna tag you in this video, at Karen for for the any further info. Yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. Exactly. Exactly, Karen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, release that out. So um, we're gonna go for a wee bit more of a, a contraction in this next phase. So again, the, these next uh, two exercises, we're gonna link them together like a superset. Uh, very light weights, looking for the contraction again is for posture correction. So we're gonna have a, a rotator cuff exercise. So we're gonna go for a one kg dumbbell. Okay, so we need a one kg dumbbell off your rack. So you'll have the option in the second set to increase the 2kg dumbbell. Again, we're going to have a pink band hanging off the top of your rig now. A pink band hanging off the top of your rig. Yeah, I'll help. I'll help you. Don't. Yeah, I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Don't you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna bring ourselves down. Uh, we're gonna extend the right leg, and we're gonna keep the left foot flat on the floor. Okay, so extend the right leg out to the side, left foot flat on the floor. These shorts are extremely short. I <laughs> didn't check it. I was like, oh. Uh, yes, I get it. Maybe, yeah, literally, only fans, yeah. Um, right. <laughs> so we go elbow to the knee, knuckle to the ceiling. Elbow to the knee, knuckle to the ceiling. Switch the dumbbell, yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay, from there. Okay, you're going to rotate down, so bring the knuckle towards the floor, and then rotate up to that top position. Okay, we're going to move through 10 reps. So rotate down, rotate up as one. Rotate down, rotate up as two. So that is just external rotation of the shoulder, working those smaller muscle grips. So it's our rotator cuff raise. So if you feel it's too light in this first set, we can move to the 2kg in set number two. I've lost count, so I'll say four more reps. Four, three, you should start to feel the heat to the top of the shoulder. Two, and one. Okay, switching sides. That left leg is fully extended. The right foot is flat on the floor. The right elbow is on top of the right knee. The knuckles are towards the ceiling. So drop the hand into that open space. Much rotation as possible, and your knuckles back towards the ceiling again. Three, four. So exercises like this will help you with your overhead positions like your military press with your barbell, your seated shoulder presses, and the explosive movements like your single arm snatch. And we'll say three more. Three, no, is it not three more? How many more? Two, one. So roughly 10 reps on each side there. We'll bring ourselves up to the stand position. We're going to go 15 face pulls. So face pulls work on all the muscles in the back of the shoulder. So we're going to step back and create tension through our band. Okay. From here, we're going to pull the band of the forehead and the elbows will be high and wide. 
You'll feel the retraction through your shoulder blades. You'll control that band towards the rig and you'll reset that position. So from here, we'll move through 15 reps. So pull to the forehead. Okay, one. I want you to keep count of your reps. Two. Three. Keep those elbows high and wide. Four. Five. So I shouldn't see no like chicken necks. The, the head isn't coming forward to meet the band. Uh, you're pulling that band to the forehead and the head is perfectly steady. The neck doesn't move. Okay, where are we at now? How many reps is that? Ten. Ten. Right, okay. <laughs> so once you get 15, you can stop there. All right, good stuff. Okay, we'll go 20 seconds now. If you want more from that rotator cuff raise, the external rotation, go for a 2kg in this second set. This is our last set with these two movements. So last set with these two movements. So if you struggle with, a sh like if you struggle with shoulder dislocates, when we're bringing the, the PVC pipe up and over, and these are exercises you should be doing. So we'll bring ourselves down again. We extend that right leg, left foot flat on the floor, right elbow uh, on top of the left knee, and then we're just dropping the knuckles into that open space. So we'll rotate around as much as we can, and then just start at that top position again. And it's uh, 10 reps, keep count of your reps. Just slow control, external rotation. And this bulletproofs the shoulder. It's like a, if you went to a physio, this is one of the movements I prescribe a rotator cuff raise with a light weight. We have done a rotator cuff raise lying down on the bench in Wilty's program. Okay, once you complete the 10, you'll switch sides. It'll be the same on the opposite side. The right foot will be flat, the left leg extended, the right elbow to the right knee and just drop into that open space. Knuckle towards the ceiling, knuckle towards the floor. And just keep those reps nice and slow. L really look for that squeeze. Don't try and go too quick with it. Let's work the depth. So get the knuckles as far around. So really try and think about getting the knuckles underneath the back of the knee, as far as you can go until you feel the squeeze to the medial delt, the side of the shoulder, and then you'll work to the top position. So once you complete 10 reps there, we bring it back up and we go to 15 face pulls. Okay, you step back, the hand shoulder width apart, okay, and then we'll pull the band to the forehead. Look at how high my elbows are, just high and wide. I really lead with the squeeze of the shoulder blades. So to start that movement, I'm focusing on my shoulder blades only. So I retract those shoulder blades together and then my elbows follow and I keep the elbows high. Again, count those reps, that's 15 repetitions in total. Okay, girls, so once you've completed your 15, you're gonna take that pink band off the rig. The pink band off the rig. And I, <laughs> okay. the shorties in this class, we're gonna need just a wee smaller rig. There we are. <laughs> right, so we'll have our band. We'll step in, you wanna have the feet pretty much together. We'll bring it to the top position. So you're gonna work through six side bends on one side. So we're gonna drop, again, you don't have to go in, I'm just demoing here. So we just drop six times to the left side. Six times to the left side. Uh, giving you a wee bit of movement in the spine, giving you a wee bit of engagement through the obliques. It'll be six times on the right side. I'm gonna do that two times. So six, 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 and then we'll move on. So we're gonna to go to the left side first. So we have our band, the feet nice and close together. Three, two, one. So think about driving the hip off to the side. And six times, letting that left arm drop first. Three, four, five, yeah, six, okay. And then switch sides, let the band pull you down to that bottom uh, position. Then you have a wee bit of resistance on the way back up. 
switching on those obliques, actually a really functional exercise this. It's kind of a movement you complete in everyday life. You might feel the back cracking if you're tight. Okay, same on the opposite side. We'll go six back to the same side we started on. And it looks in, we're like trees in the wind, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of lost count there. Again, so it's, uh, it should be 12 reps in total on each side. Okay, I'm going to my last six repetitions. Just working that range. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so it was six each side. So we're going to now to a quadratus lumborum stretch. So it's a really deep abdominal muscle that connects the rib cage to the hip. So generally, if you suffer from back pain or you're a runner, this can be a muscle that's really, really tight. So uh, I'm always going to be releasing this out within the, the Tuesday stretch class. So we're going to come side on. You want to just create a wee bit of space for yourself. You're going to go side on to the one of the bars at your rig. Okay, you can hold on. So I'll say, if we all, well, you guys, you guys don't need to face me. Doesn't matter. So just stand side on to your rig. So the furthest foot away from the rig. So side on, so your hip should be in line, yeah? So the furthest foot away from the rig, you're going to step forward. Oh, sorry. No, that's not right. Sorry. <laughs> so the closest foot uh, to the rig, you step forward. The furthest foot away from the rig, you step to the base of the rig itself. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if the hook's in your way, you can take that off. Sorry, girl. So I'll show you that setup one more time. So again, if your hooks are in your row, just take that off. So we're side on. So the foot that's closest to the rig, you step forward. The foot that's furthest away from the rig, you step to the base. Right, with top hand, you're going to bring it over. Yeah, you're going to hold on. And then from there, the only thing that you're thinking about is getting that hip out uh, as close to the middle of the room as you can. So drop that hip out as far as you can, okay, and you should feel that deep stretch running down the side of the body. Now from here, I want you to think about that top shoulder, okay, the top hand. I want you to rotate that shoulder back, open out the chest to get more from the stretch. Yeah, so we're gonna hold that position for 40 seconds. So it is a really deep stretch, and then just work. You, you don't have to stay static, you can move around, Try and find a, a deeper position that really tests you. And you adjust that bottom foot position. Yeah, it's uh, serious. You can do this on the TRX as well, but it's a wee bit, it is advanced. Okay. Last 10 seconds, just relax into it. Get that hip bite, get that hip bite. Ah, and release. Okay, I'm gonna switch side. You can do that in a door frame at home as well. You don't need a rig for that exercise, so you could put that into your daily stretch routine. Uh, daily, well, if anyone has it. Like in the morning, just the yawn. Ah, oh, that's it. Uh, right, so side on to the rig. Okay, we're gonna step uh, the, the foot that's closest to the rig forward. So the foot that is closest to the rig forward. The foot that's furthest away from the rig to the base. We're gonna go the, the farthest away arm over the top. You think about bringing the bicep to the ear. You hold on to the rig itself and then we focus on the hip. The hip goes out as close as you can to the middle of the room and you find that release and run it up the right side of the body. Or the left, depends what side you started on. So that top shoulder, you think about getting that as far back as you can. Just open out that chest. And again, we're gonna hold that position for in and around 40 seconds. So you, you, can, you, still can, you can make this stretch fairly dynamic. So you, put, you can push that hip out, you just release the hip back towards the rig, push the hip out, release the hip back towards the rig. And you don't have to stay static in this position. Just do whatever feels good for you. And we're 20 seconds here. Continue to hold, 10 seconds, work to get the hip out as far as you can. Okay, 
Well done, release that out. Okay, good stuff. So we're gonna go to a Jefferson curl. So lots of movement in the spine and it gives you a hamstring stretch. So we're gonna find our 20 kg plate and we're gonna put it in the middle of the floor. Here, have you not got the plate now, no? Is it underneath? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get ourselves a seven kg dumbbell. Seven kg dumbbell for this one. So everyone has the same weight there. A seven kg dumbbell. What is it, sorry? Uh, you know, it's fine there. It's fine there, You'll, we'll be on top. Okay, so I'll demonstrate this movement. So usually we would say for the deadlift, you keep a nice neutral spine. Here, I'm gonna tell you the absolute opposite. You're trying to get the spine moving. You're rolling it down like a snake. So you're just pushing those vertebrae out as we work our way down to the bottom position. We're gonna have five reps in total. We'll go to a hamstring stretch and then come back. Okay, so we tuck the chin to the chest. We round through the upper back. Again, this is just a demo. Round through the mid back, the T spine that we stretched out, round through the lower back, and then as we move past the shins, you're trying to get the dumbbell as low as you can. Okay, once we're at the bottom position, we're going to hold for two seconds. Now, on the way back up, really important, you go in the opposite. So you get to the shins, the lower back starts to go, the mid back starts to go, and then we stand at that top position. So you're really just thinking about snaking that spine down and then snaking the spine up. Okay, just like a wave. Okay, so your feet are flat on the plate. Let's go. We tuck the chin, slowly round through the upper back. Dumbbell passing the knee, li knee line, slowly round to the mid back. Lower back starts to round. You reach the dumbbell out, round toes. Okay, and then slowly bring yourself back to the top position. Again, snaking back up, just creating that wave-like motion. Uh, thighs, mid back starts to straighten. Uh, and we're to the top. That's one rep, and again we go. Tuck the chin, round through, reach down, feel the stretch of the hamstrings, and make your way back to the top. Slowly moving up to the top. And squeeze glutes when you get there. Tuck chin, round, let the shoulders go, collapse in through the mid back. Push the lower back toward the back of the room. Reach the dumbbells if you can just in front of the toes. So each rep, work to get the dumbbell a wee bit lower, slowly bringing it back to the top position again. Okay, we got two more reps. Just relax as you get to that bottom position. We come as heavy as you can through the upper body. Shoulders go, mid back goes, lower back goes. And we'll make this our last rep, reach down. And then slowly back up to the top position. Okay, well done. Release that out. So I'm, I'm probably gonna have to get you all in the white rig for this one. There's, there's not enough space in the blue rigs. So I'm gonna demo here and then and move over. So we'll, we'll all find a uh, white rig. We'll bring ourselves down and we're gonna go to the hamstring stretch. Okay, so we're fully extending one leg. We're trying to get the back and the knee uh, in line with the rig. Okay, so nice and tight there, and we'll feel that hamstring stretch. We'll work for 30 seconds on one side, and then go 30 seconds on the other. Okay, so the, the back of the knee flush with the ring. Right. So you'll, yeah, you'll take that bar away. That's it, take the hook away. Okay, good stuff. Take the kettlebell away, and then just lie yourself down. Okay. Okay, Alice, you can go there. Yeah. Just jump there, or even there, yeah, that's fine. Get the band out of the road. Yeah, that's it. So even you can set that foot flat on the floor, that's fine. And just shuffle yourself in as close as you can go. That's it, there you go. Yeah, and then working to get the back of the knee and cut in it's tight. So really try and drive the back of the knee in towards the, um, the rig. I'm gonna hold there for about 40 seconds on each side. So think about driving the lower back to the floor to get more from that stretch.
Good stuff. Same stretch on the opposite side. Just relax in there. Just control that breathing. Lower back pushes down. Okay, good stuff guys, just release that out, use a rig to help you bring it back to that standing position. And we're gonna to go to the Jefferson curl again. So we've got our dumbbell and we're up on top of that plate. So we'll go in and around five reps and then we'll move into the glutes. Okay, so we'll take hold of our seven kg dumbbell, we'll stand on top of our plate and we'll get the spine moving again. So we know the exercise so we can go straight in. So we're gonna tuck the chin to the chest, we're gonna ride to the shoulders, Round to the mid back, drive the lower back towards the, room, the back of the room, reach down, dumbbell should be in line with the toes, and now we bring it back to the top position. Squeeze the glutes as we work to the top. Just keep those arms long, the arms should be locked out at all times. So hinge, round, reach, feel the stretch, and then slowly reset that top position. We'll do two more. Tuck the chin. Snake down. Try and keep those hips high as we work down to that bottom position. Okay, and we'll go last rep. I really want you to work the range of the dumbbell in this last rep. Tuck the chin, rise to the shoulders. Reach, 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 reach. Back to the top. Good stuff, okay. Release that out. So we can fire that seven kg dumbbell back. We won't be needing that again. We're gonna go to a quick glute stretch at the rig. So we'll bring ourselves down. That same position we were in for the hamstring. This time the girls, you can step this side of the room. Uh, so we lie ourselves down. We go left foot flat in the rig. You want that left knee at a right angle. Uh, you're going to bring the right leg over the top. You place the ball of the right ankle just below the left knee and then with your hand, you're going to drive that right knee away from you, holding that position for 40 seconds. That's a deep enough glute stretch if you get the hips close enough to the rig. If your hips are too far away from the rig and you don't have that angle in the leading leg, you're going to feel that you, you lose the stretch. If your hips are high, if your hips are lifted off the floor, you got to move yourself back, you're too close to the rig. You want to be able to keep your lower back in contact with the floor and use both hands to push that knee away from you. Yeah. That's it, and use the hands to drive the knee away from you. So again, if your lower back is lifting off, you got to shuffle away from the rig. We're going to continue for a further 20 seconds here. Okay, and this is a, uh, another stretch you can add into your routine. You can do this at home, you can put your foot up on a wall. Okay, 10 seconds, drive that knee away. Okay, good stuff, so we're switching legs now. So right foot flat on the rig, you have that angle. The ball of the left ankle comes just below the right knee. Lower back drives down. Immediately you'll find that glute stretch. We want more from it, so we drive uh, the left knee away to create the external rotation of the hip. Again, we're gonna work there for about 40 seconds.
Okay, guys, release that out. So we're gonna go for that heavier band. So everyone, if we can, go for the purple band for this next stretch. So it's a, a hip hamstring stretch. We'll be in the standing position for this one. So we, we wanna find uh, one bar that doesn't have the hook on. We're gonna go hip height with our band. Go hip height with the band. We wanna wrap that band round. Okay, feed three. You create that wee loop for yourself. Yeah, that's it, just feed it through, there you go, and then pull tight. Yeah, and you try and get the, the band away from the rig if you can, the face out towards the middle of the room. Okay, so once you've got that, that position of your band, it's wrapped round, you're gonna step in, whoop, you're gonna step in with your light leg. If that knot falls down, you wanna pull it up toward hip height again. Pull tight. Okay, you're just gonna go tight to the inner thigh, high up the inner thigh. We'll split the stance here. You turn the back foot at a 45 degree angle. Okay, so you wanna face forward. So yes, that you'll, yeah, yeah, just spin around, there you go, that's it. And then step away until you feel the band pulling you back. Yeah, nice and high up the thigh. Okay, from there you, you create that angle with the back leg. You're gonna hinge forward from the hip and you're gonna reach the toes, or the fingertips down towards the floor. Just holding that position. Now if you can't feel the stretch through the back hip, you'll have a stretch through the front hamstring. You're gonna step yourself uh, further forward away from the rig. Now you'll feel the stretch running more into the back hamstring. Again, the further you move away from the rig, the more you'll feel the stretch. And you gotta have that angle with the back foot. Front leg as straight as you can get it. So the longer you hold the stretch, uh, the deeper you'll get into it. You'll start to feel that back leg come into play. Okay, slowly bring yourself up to that top position. Don't let that band snap you back too quickly. So you're gonna step out. Okay, step in with the opposite leg. Again, band high up the inner thigh. You should be facing, you should have your back to the rig right now. So you're gonna step forward until you feel the band pulling you back. You turn the back foot on its side at around a 45 degree angle. Okay, that nice step forward with the front foot and then you just gently hinge, reaching the fingertips down. Okay, gently release to that top position. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep this leg in the band. So what we're gonna do now is just drop that knot down slightly. Drop that knot down to around knee height. So dropping that knot down to around knee height. So I'm gonna demo this stretch first and then you can bring it in. Okay, so you're gonna need a wee bit of space there. So you're gonna step out. So I'm gonna feel pressure through this leg, so that band's pulling my knee out. 
Okay, that band's pulling my knee towards the rig. Once I find this position, I can draw a straight line from the rig to my knee. Once I find this position, I'm going to set my palms to the inside of the leading leg. I'm going to step the furthest leg away from the rig. And then because this band's pulling my knee out, it's going to create this deep hip groin stretch. You're going to hold that position for in and around 40 seconds. So I'll show you the setup one more time. So you've got the, the leg attached. You go to the outside of the knee. You step away until you feel resistance. Okay, once you got that resistance there, you're gonna go palms down. You're gonna re reach the furthest leg away from the rig as far back as you can. You keep the back knee off the floor. You have a nice neutral spine and you're gonna hold there for 40 seconds only because that's a deep, intense stretch. So the further away we can get from that rig, the more of a challenge we will feel. So let the, let the band do its work. Let the band pull that knee out. Okay, last 10, just a wee bit of a bounce for the back knee. Just move that back leg up and down, up and down. Just flosses those hips out. Okay, release. Okay, switching sides. See them on the opposite sides. So we step in, that opposite leg. Yep. Ugh. Right, so we're gonna step in, band to the outside of the knee. Just make sure you can draw a straight line from the rig to the knee. Okay, right, we've created space for ourselves. We're gonna go palms down. Furthest leg away from the rig, steps back, almost like a sprint start position. The back knee is off the floor, the chest is proud, and I'm just almost relaxing that leading leg. I'm not trying to resist against that band too much, I'm just relaxing that leading leg and letting it pull me into the position I'm looking for. So if we went for this like, high hip stretch position without the band, you know, you'd feel that nice stretch through the, the back hip, but it wouldn't be as deep as this. It'd be hard for us to drive the knee out uh, as far as we can get it with our band. And in this position, I, I like to make it a wee bit but dynamic, not too much movement, just that wee bounce with the back knee. You can go forward and back with the front knee. We wanna, there should be no, uh, the band shouldn't be slack. You wanna keep as much tension through that band. If that band is like dropping down, you need to step a wee bit further away from the rig to find the stretch. Okay, we're gonna hold this position for a further 20 seconds. Ten. Hey, good stuff. Hey, right, release that out. Bring it up to the stand. And so we'll go one more hip stretch, then we'll finish off with our partner stretches that we completed last week. The straddle position, and then that uh, butterfly position. It's just good to kind of finish off in a partner, and we can pull ourselves a wee bit deeper into the stretch there as well. Um, yeah, so you're going to need the mat side on for this one. So this is our SOA stretch. So mat side on. I'll demo the movement so you know what equipment you need and you know how far away from the rig you'll have to go. So we can keep the, the, the band around the same height. We're going to step in. We're going to go band around the waistline. Okay, we're going to drive forward, knees wide, feet on their side, and then just relax. That band will pull you deeper into that stretch. Yeah. So us one of the deepest hip muscles. Again, a lot of lower back pain stems from tight hips. So again, if we are stretching out the hips regularly, we'll, uh, we'll run a, a lower risk of injuring the back when we perform the likes of our back squats, the likes of our deadlifts. So we got the band around the waistline, wherever it feels comfortable for you. Again, these, these short shorts, uh, knee, knees. Knees as wide as you can, feet on the side. 
We're gonna go forearms down. Yeah. Does it hurt your knee a bit? No. And then just let the hips, let the band pull you back into that stretch. You should be on the side of your feet. So the feet turned on their side and just let that band pull you into that position. And we're gonna hold there for 60 seconds. Yeah, so if you wanted more, you'd simply just like shuffle forward, move yourself further away from the rig and then that band's gonna work you a wee bit deeper into that position. Again, just do whatever feels comfortable for you. You can move the hips from side to side. You can move forward and back. Or you can just hold that static position. Real dead. You don't get a deeper hip stretch than this, than this hip stretch. If you can get the feet, the side of the feet on the floor, you're really gonna feel this. So again, try not to resist against the band. Let the band pull the hips back towards the heels. The closer you can get the hips to the heels, the more of a stretch you will feel. The hips are right back. Sink into it, that's it. Right back, right back, right back. Keep going, keep going. There you are. Three. Three. Two. <laughs> I thought I was waiting for someone to say, but yeah. Okay, release that out. Right, so we're gonna finish off now. Oh, God. Right, so. Uh, Does anybody ever have a Cindy doll? A Cindy doll, yeah, the legs peel off, yeah. <laughs> right, so Alice, I'll uh, get you again. So we discovered last week we were a wee bit too nice. You really gotta pull your, set, your partner into that position. So, you, you weren't here last week, were you? No. No, okay. It just go feet wide and your soles of your feet meet the soles of my feet. So you uh, try and hold on to almost the forearms there. So I'm going to pull Alice into the position. So you're going to tell me when you're at the end of your range. Jesus. Yeah, okay, there. <laughs> okay, and then you're going to really work, work. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it. So you're going to work 60 set, roughly 60 seconds. Pull your partner into the position. Hold for about five seconds each. So five seconds, five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. So it'll be, it'll be two minutes of 60 seconds each. Um, yeah, give that one a go. And then we'll go hip stretch is the second one. You go feet together, um, go with your toes of the feet together, move forward a wee bit. And again, it's the same thing. Just, I pull you deep into the hip stretch. You tell me when you're at the edge of your range. Once you're there, you hold for around five. You, we're, we were a wee bit too nice last week. That, that's probably, yeah, that's nice. But we, 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 were like, we were like, we were just a wee bit gentle. So you just really got to pull your partner into that stretch, okay? So just uh, partner off again. Who, was someone partner with me last time? Who was partner with me? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I set on. Yeah. Here, you just stay with me. You stay with me. So we'll go for that. We'll go for the straddle stretch first. Okay. So you go that. You got to find that wide stance. So you get. You're gonna get hamstrings, but you want more inner thighs as well. Okay. So we'll start the two minutes now. Okay. So you tell me when. You tell me when. Tell me when. One. Okay. Four, three, two, one. So it's five second hold yet. Yeah? When? Five. Three, two, one. Tell me when. One. I know, I, I wouldn't have a partner off for you, Majel. You ripped my legs off. <laughs> You gotta work your partner, yeah? Work your partner. You'll start to know where the edge of their range is, yeah? Yeah. Okay, last 60 with this stretch. Last 60. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got you now. <laughs> Tell me man. Yeah. Okay, last 30. So you're going to have, oh, oh, have like two more goes to so just really work the depth in the last couple here. Yep. 
Ja, ja. Okay, last 10 seconds. Right, you release that out, so last stretch, you're going to go hip stretch. So uh, we go um, soles of the feet together, you're going to have to bum shuffle just a wee bit closer. <laughs> right, so we'll wait, just 20 seconds. Okay, three, two, one. So uh, you have four arms, if you go four, you got a better grip. So again, tell me when. So, Whilst you're in that stretch, if you try and is that you? Yeah. Yeah. If you try and push your knees out to the side of the rim while holding that stretch. Okay. So you you kind of pull me when you want to get out of it. Uh, yeah. That's it. So you re you really got to find you need to pull really pull your partner deep into that stretch. You're gonna have to almost lean back like you're rowing. That's better, that's better, so I keep pulling. Yeah, that was far better. All right, guys, 60 seconds, 60 seconds left. That's it, Katie. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> right, last 30 seconds, girls, last 30. So we've got about two more each. Huh? You would be a good member? Yeah, he's holding hands. <laughs> right, 10 seconds. <laughs> right, great, release that out, girls. So that will do us there. So that's your uh, Tuesday night stretch. So some of those stretches, I say, you can you can bring into the uh, the program side of things. If you like any of the stretches, just look back in the video. Um, so yeah, subscribe to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so banded stretches, uh, foam rolling, and uh, some weighted stretches in there as well. So hopefully you enjoy. Hopefully see you next week. Uh, enjoy the rest of your night. Well done, guys. Oh God, back super tight after that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>